Hello all, welcome to Medical Equipment Explained. If you've ever wondered how the equipment used on you works, this is for you. Today's topic of device is the Automatic External Defibrillator, or AED. And we'll be looking at the differences between the AED and a defibrillator. The defibrillator itself has all the functionality and can do everything that an AED can do, plus more which I'll only discuss briefly because our topic today is the Automatic External Defibrillator, AED. The larger defibrillators can also perform what is called pacing, which helps the heart that's slightly out of rhythm get back more into a normal rhythm. A defibrillator also has a selectable range of joules or energy that can go anywhere from 1 all the way up to 360 joules. An AED is normally around 150 joules. The defibrillator is able to, well, obviously defibrillate a heart, but what does that mean? It means that some of the areas of the heart are fibrillating, or as Merriam-Webster would define it, a twitching involving individual muscle fibers acting without coordination. Before we go into how the AED works, first, we'll need to be aware that the movies from Hollywood are not always faithful to reality. Defibrillators and AEDs are not designed to shock a patient that's asystole, which means that, essentially, it's not going to work if the patient has a flat line. In asystolic patients, only chance of survival is cardiac stimulating drugs in combination with chest compressions. Only if that's able to start the heart again and an unstable rhythm is obtained, then a defibrillator would be used. The original AEDs were designed to be just portable versions of the large cumbersome defibrillator back in the 1960s, and the credit goes to Frank Petridge of Belfast, Ireland. If we can take a look inside the AED, we'll see in the main components here are the display, the large capacitor, the battery, and the logic circuitry. The primary function of an AED comes from charging a large capacitor within the device to deliver the shock to the patient. A capacitor is similar in practice to a battery, except that it can deliver even more of that energy almost instantaneously, whereas a battery delivers that energy over a longer period of time. AEDs are located in many public spaces of hospitals, offices, shopping centers, and anywhere that there would be a large gathering of people. All AEDs require the use of pads to make a good, solid connection between the device and the patient. The pads have a conductive adhesive gel on one side to make contact with the skin easier. And the reason that the pads are so large is if they were smaller, there would be more connectivity around a smaller area, which could cause a higher chance of burns on the skin. Over time, as with other electronics, they're getting less expensive to produce, smaller, and becoming more and more available. With that being said, this seemingly ordinary small device can pack a life-saving punch.